So, Lizzie, what's been your experience living on the art floor? I've had a great experience living on the art floor. I've even made friends with the ghost. She's pretty cool. We're kind of friends. I mean, we talk at like 1 a.m. every day. Uh, I'm up a little late, you know, night owl. But she's really cool. I think she broke my window, but it's okay. I've really forgiven her for that. And I, I understand sometimes you do things when you're angry. But, you know... I don't know, I think we're pretty good friends. I think we get along real well, and I think that she really contributes to the culture of this floor. Where did my drink just go? go so you mentioned earlier that you communicate with the ghost. Oh, Has yeah. she told you anything like about like her past life or anything like that? No, we mainly just talk about other people because, you know, she's like a good confidant. She doesn't really talk to anyone else in terms of that. Or if she does, I don't know, and they haven't really found out. No one's come kind of and confronted me about anything that I've said to her, so I think I'm fine. So, is there anything that you would want to say to the ghost if she were to be watching this documentary right now? I love you! <laughs> so Olivia, what's been your experience living on the art floor? Well, I have crippling anxiety, so it's kind of been hard to deal with the fact that there is a ghost on this floor, because I am scared of, like, most things involving paranormal and then whatever can be considered paranormal, mm -hmm. you know, like bathrooms. So if anyone on this floor here is running at like three in the morning, that's probably me. Sorry. Mm -hmm. It happens. I have to pee. So um, have you had any specific supernatural occurrences happen? Well, my stuff gets moved around a lot. Sometimes my, my ginger ale will get mm -hmm. moved from my fridge to on top of my fridge. Mm -hmm. And it'll just, I'll wake up. Yeah. Okay. And it's there. That sounds pretty annoying. Whoa. Oh my. Great. It just got really cold in here. It did. It got really cold. <coughs> oh. So Hannah, tell me about your experience living on the art floor. I really like it. Um, it helped me make a lot of friends. It's a really good community. I know all my neighbors and like I feel comfortable knowing that I know all my neighbors. I trust everyone. It's really good. It's really cozy. So, have you had any, like, supernatural occurrences? Because I, I know the art floor's been rumored to be haunted. I mean, sometimes, like, my door opens when it's not supposed to, and my music will stop, but that's about it. Like, that could just be, like, Apple messing with me. So, if by any chance the ghosts were watching this documentary, what would you say to her? If I'd she was probably, real? I mean, I'd probably ask her to, like, not mess with stuff in the middle of the night, because that's when I get freaked out. But, like, I mean, she was here first. She can just chill, you okay. know? Fair, fair. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're so welcome. So, Gail, what's been your experience living on the art floor? Um, it's been great. Lots of art. Lots of art? Lots have you of art. Have you had any supernatural occurrences? Yeah, we have a homophobic ghost on our floor. Oh, homophobic. Tell yeah. me more about that. It tore down my rainbow flag in my room. What? That sounds awful. It is awful. So, how do you know specifically the ghost is homophobic? Tore down a rainbow flag. Tore down rainbow means gay. Rainbow means gay. Rainbow yeah. means gay. Have you had any other occurrences besides the rainbow flag? Lots of noise. Oh, oh, I don't. <laughs> oh. 